On Friday evening at about 5.15, a shot rang out on 2nd Street in the Kings Park area. It came from inside his Ford Escape, where Charles Canton slumped dead in the driver's seat. He had been killed by a shot from his own weapon, coming from a friend sitting behind him. He was seated in the car along with two other persons when a female who was seated behind him uh, came in possession of his firearm and accidentally fired a single shot. You mentioned she came into contact with his firearm, no, no. but what was happening inside the vehicle at the time? Uh, they were in the car uh, consuming alcoholic beverages and uh, the deceased placed his gun on the seat and she took the gun from the seat. She took the gun and accidentally fired it. And so today, Teja Vaughn was escorted to court from police lockdown where she spent all weekend and charged with manslaughter by negligent. Despite a request for bail, she was remanded into custody at the Hatterville prison. Her father is PUP city councillor Albert Vaughn. Your daughter spent the weekend in police detention, a long weekend at that. And now she's been remanded to, to prison. Were you expecting that news in court this morning? Well, I'm a realist. And I, I understand quite clear the situation. I would have been a happy father as she had bail this morning. Now, that didn't work. And so we, I guess the attorney, through the attorney, we're going through another route now. Of course, nobody wants their daughter to spend their time in that horrible place. I would have loved to see her get bail this morning. I think that would have been the best thing for her as a as a young innocent person though um, but the, the, the chief magistrate um, have other, she's devastating um, after the bail was denied I sat and spoke to her and it started all over again it's, it's tough these are young good kids and um, Jules right having fun and some and just got everything just gone wrong for them right um, that's her friend that is her friend right um, yeah, she's, she's, she's dear. Vaughn underscored that it was an accident that happened between friends. Whatever the outcome, he yeah, proved that it was an accident. They, these are kids who are out there enjoying themselves. Something wrong happened. Um, one of the good friends died. One of them is now locked away, uh, waiting, waiting on, you know. So, no, no, I think, um, I don't want nobody to try to spin this and say because the part of Kongsla and the part of this and that, that has nothing to do with this, right? It has nothing to do with this. I think the policemen, the police know exactly what they are doing. And I think our attorney know exactly what we are doing. But as I said, Jules, I am not, right now, for right now, I am not even, I am not even going way there. I am thinking about Charles' family who now sits there preparing to bury that young 30-year-old man. I am thinking about that. It's an accident. You know, sometimes we wonder, we wonder why, but it happened. But it also happened because, according to the report, she was handling a loaded weapon. Is your daughter someone that has any experience handling weapons? Not to my knowledge. We are peaceful people, man. Like, but kids will be kids. What we do our kids, you know? No, not to my knowledge. And I think that, that may have been the misfortune part, right? So don't play the weapon. And now, Albert Vaughn has a daughter in jail waiting for a Supreme Court bail and a young man he used to work with at the Holy Redeemer Credit Union at the morgue, waiting for his funeral. Yeah, as a board member, I, have, I, I think I deal with Charles like two times for the week. Yeah. And so yeah, that's why I try, I try to say on both ends, that is how I, you know, it's affect, affect me greatly, man. When I go up there and, and I go there, he brings his document for me to sign, you know. Have we, you spoken to his family? I had the happy opportunity to speak to you, brother, this morning. I haven't spoken to the mother, which I am waiting until the, you know, that time is appropriate. L losing a 30-year-old losing son to say that Jules is, is as difficult, right? They won't see Charles again. And so that, you know, that's how I look at it. Um, I know my daughter will go through some very difficult time. They are friends. These kids are friends. These kids are, they hang out together, they laugh together, they work together. That's, you know, but, and so what I try to do is to understand my position, but I try to really try to give that sympathy to that family over there who lost that 30 year old young man, vibrant young man. This morning, the credit union hung a bow for Charles Canton, even as a shadow of grief hangs over the institution.